guys isn't it getting cold yes it is i am traveler and today in this video i will tell you what kind of a jackets that you can bring which won't be weighing down your luggage while you are traveling to europe for study expat purpose or just traveling to make this video really long so i will be making three videos for the jacket and in this video i will be showing only the casual jackets all purple jackets or the daily wear jackets that you can bring with you while you are coming to europe or any other western countries where it will be probably really very cold the jackets that will be shown in this video will help you to survive in all sort of winter temperatures and will also help you not to carry extra accessories gloves anything and it will be completely self-sufficient on its own i will be taking you through the jackets that i've already had and i will be telling you that what kind of a jackets you probably need while you are in europe and at what temperature and for what purpose the jacket that i will be showing here actually works really well for me as a international person living in europe as a traveler hopefully it will work for you guys as well and in case you have any type of suggestions or comments please do comment down below and let's get started latest favorite jacket you might be thinking that it's a uh, really bulky yes you are right this type of jacket actually works really good while it's uh, snowing outside or it's raining or the weather is very windy so i'm talking about the weather that you can experience while you are in germany especially or in some cooler part in and also it works in london though it's very casual and i have heard and seen people over there wearing very classy and sophisticated style but at the same time i think this jacket apart from being very sporty and casual it actually works for all sort of occasions it's a puffed jacket which has a bomber type of sleeves as you can see here in the sleeve it has a nice knitted closure so that the wind is not entering from there now to talk about the jacket features i will divide it into the functionality and the face or aesthetic value now talking about the functionality of this jacket the sleeves has a really nice uh, closure to stop the wind from entering inside it has the nice proper filling which actually keeps you warm and stops the wind the waterproof material outside helps you to remain dry and if you have this jacket you really don't need a hat you can actually cover it nicely with the hood so the best part of this jacket what what i think that the jacket should have which makes it really best is that after you wear a jacket it should not need any gloves or a hat such accessories should become a secondary options rather than being primary to stop you from getting cold so yeah here you can see that i can easily put the hood here and it has a nice drawstring over here through which you can actually adjust it properly around your face so that it's not getting cold and as you can see only my lips and nose is visible rest of the part of my whole face is covered inside it and the lots of fur around its edge not only gives it a face value but helps in protecting your face from wind so obviously it's looking quite funny and it's better to do it while you're in alaska now moving on to the next features that it has nice side pockets with a zip if in case you're not using you can zip it up otherwise you can always keep your hands inside it to keep it warm third functional and aesthetic feature i like about this jacket 
once you have zipped it up it gives you an illusion as if you are wearing a layer if you are seeing this brooch just forget about it because this is what i have made it and i always do it with all type of jackets that i have so just ignore that thing apart from that i think the fur the side detailing which actually gives the illusion of a curve because once you close it from the side if it has a black it actually giving you a hourglass shape so it not only clenching your waist but also giving the illusion of being slim because white actually makes you look broader but this small details on the side really helps you a lot to look in shape even if while you are wearing this puffed jacket which has made me look way more fatter than I am. <laughs> the last functional feature is that it has a secret zip here so you can keep your phone, your money over here. This is how you can protect them wind, rain or robbery. So this is my first jacket now moving on to my next so this is my first jacket which i think is quite good if you're wearing it below zero degrees celsius especially while you are going for some sports obviously there is always a chance of it getting dirty but you can fix it by using a color correctner or bleach and it just goes away now moving on to my next jacket um this jacket is not that favorite to me because it's something very basic and I think everyone should have it in their wardrobe. The main purpose of having this type of jacket is that you can wear it at all times. This jacket is from Puma which actually has the heat intact technology. In terms of a functional feature, what I really like about this jacket is that it's really thin. It has an adjuster here so that it can clench your waist, not giving you a straight flat look. The, uh, the other feature is that it has loops at the front closure and the zip both. There are times that in winters you are quite confused at whether you need to zip it up or you just have to leave it open maybe sometimes you even want if in case it's windy you want to close it as well so for that purpose having a loops really works and this is what i liked about this jacket now after closing the button you can see that how well it's giving me an hourglass shape and the sleeves it does not have same the narrow wrist knitted uh, feature like my first jacket had but it's quite compact and fitted and again it has this side pocket to keep your palms the best feature i like about it is that because of its heat intact technology it claims to keep your body five degree warmer than the usual jacket which means that you don't really have to invest into the puffed fuller jackets I think that for the travelers, packing this type of jacket inside their luggage won't be weighing it a lot because trust me, it's really lightweight. About the hood, though it's not that fitted enough, but but after zipping it up nicely, you can see that your face is now pretty tucked inside this jacket sometimes also need a hat but definitely you don't need any muffler so it's solving all the purpose you don't really need any gloves because it has a side pocket and for the hat it actually covers it perfectly but you might need it to cover your ears because it's slightly open from here otherwise you don't need any muffler so yes i give it a four star the first jacket gets the five star and this is getting only the four star but i think it 
really works well but i think that it's all time favorite because it's in black you can wear it with any dress and you can wear it in any occasion it has a waterproof wind material which you probably need in europe because it's raining most of the time and it's windy <laughs> Let me tell you, it even has a secret pocket inside, like that jacket, but it does not have a zip. In that jacket, it had the zip. To wrap up about the casual wear jackets that you can take while you are traveling to Europe, or some of the tips that I would like to give you is that first of all, it should cover your face properly. It should not need any extra mufflers or any gloves. The side pocket should serve the purpose of it and the and it should have a high zip. And you have a one hidden pocket inside. And if you are a girl, you should have like a more clenched waist so that you are also looking quite snazzy all the time. Apart from that, the most important feature is that it should be waterproof and windproof. How it could be waterproof is through the material that it has. It tends to touch very synthetic, obviously not from inside but from the outside. And to be windproof, it needs to have some filling or it should have some technology like this which actually claims to keep you 5 degree warmer than the usual jackets. I think these are the top features that you need. And yeah, one more important feature is that the length. I'm not asking you to buy something that is floor length but yes I will definitely ask you to buy a jacket that's uh, mid thigh length because in Europe there is no place for a jacket that ends till the waist 